Oh hey guys, Ren here over at the Hungry Heart Home. I am super excited to delve into a DIY project. We did a makeover of our entryway, which I'm going to share with you guys this week. If you're new here, I upload every Thursday doing home decor, DIY, organization, lifestyle vlogs, so be sure to hit the subscribe button if that is something you'd like to see more of. And to check out our entryway makeover, be sure to keep watching. guys so many of you guys know we made over our dining room this past week and at the same time we were working on giving a serious glow up to our entryway it was looking really drab and sad looking and we really were just ready to bring her up to her full potential so let me show you guys where we got started on this project to be honest, not much was done. <laughs> I had a cheap little shelf here that I picked up at Home Goods, and a rug on the ground, and a builder grade light, and that is all she wrote. So you guys can see why I felt like she needed some love. It's just a very depressing, blah looking space. Obviously, we emptied out the space. Now this is a facelift for the space, but we do plan on replacing that door and getting one with more um, windows in it in the future. But for now, this is the project that we're working on. So I wanted to do some board and batten on the wall and basically build a DIY coat rack for ourselves, give more texture and depth to the space. So to get started, we were just trying to figure out the height that we wanted to do the initial boards. Nate got to work cutting some pieces down in the basement, which is his preferred workshop. And then for the first piece, we just taped it to the wall to keep it really level and in line with the edge of the wall that was there. You guys can see here all set up and ready to go we did cut the bottoms at an angle just to blend in a little bit better with the baseboards it'll all be painted together in the end we have our trusty nail gun here to get this project underway all right so Nate got to work getting in the two side end pieces to the project and once that was done then we put in the top piece there so this was just the general frame of the space that we were going to do and then from there once this was up and ready to go it was time to just get some measurements um, for the rest of the space we put in the second piece um, about two feet down from the top board I made sure it was level and then got that bad boy in there. This was a teamwork project. We didn't want to be taping all the pieces to the wall, so I just stood in and let Nate get to work with the nail gun on all of these. Then it was about just trying to figure out where we wanted the pieces on the wall. We knew that there was going to be two pieces on the top, two on the bottom. Realized the measurements didn't necessarily matter right away. Let's just see how long the pieces need to be get those cut and in place And then we can kind of work from there. So Nate was just grabbing those measurements Once we got them up. It was really just trying to figure out. Okay. Do we make them all exactly even? <laughs> do we how are we gonna space these out? So after a couple different attempts and different tries I decided just to measure each piece out 16 inches from each wall and then the middle piece would be a little bit wider so it's about 20 inches in space in the middle that was just the easiest way for it to all line up and it doesn't have to be exactly symmetrical which is nice the two end pieces are symmetrical and the middle piece is 20 inches instead of the 16. it ended up looking really nice so we got those nailed in and we're really happy with the placement and then Nate went down and cut the boards for the basement as well for the bottom part as well we were just taking the final measurements here because the walls were a little wonky we wanted to make sure they needed to be the same length or if they needed to be a little bit shorter one than the other and um birdie as always is our trusty little helper so we got in the final pieces and all of the really like tedious measurement and alignment and 
Making sure things were level was all done with this project, thank God, because that was not my favorite part. Now it was to go in and fill all these seams in with wood filler as well as the nail holes so that before we got to painting, it would all be nice and flush. You guys can see here, there's some big seams that need to be filled and lots of little nail holes. So we, again, we just use some wood filler and on the edge, I used a wet rag. Obviously you can go in after the wood filler dries and sand it down, but on this edge here, we don't have any of this paint on the wall and I didn't want to sand off any of the paint color because we don't have any for touch ups. So I filled it in and wiped off the excess with a wet rag just to make it a little bit more precise on this one edge, which took a little bit longer. But then for the rest of the wall, I just filled it in, let it dry on its own. You can see here, just letting it dry here before I went in and gave it a good sanding so that we could get started on the painting does look a little bit messy but I know it's all gonna come together in the end all right so I used a really fine grit sandpaper just because I didn't want to leave any texture on the boards that we were using so it took me a little bit longer to sand everything but it just ensured that it was all really smooth and didn't give any extra texture or grooves to the boards that were already there so just finished up the whole wall sanding everything that we had filled with wood filler and I gave it a good wipe down with a wet rag after as well. Nate got to work while that, that was drying up a little bit, taping off the door as well as the board and batten on the walls so we could get to work painting. So yes, we took the same black from the wall in the dining room and we used that to paint the door. I just felt like it was gonna give a little bit more depth and interest to this space, and I really love how it turned out, though on the first coat, <laughs> it didn't necessarily look promising, but we had painted a door at our old house and we knew it would work out. Then for the wall, um, the board and batten, I used Chantilly Lace, um, the white color I had used to paint the furniture in the dining room, and this was after our second coat. We ended up doing three coats on both of them. So this is today, we're finishing everything up and really just putting the final touches on this project. We ordered these hooks off of Amazon. I really just liked the way that they looked um, and really it was just time to put the finishing touches. So here we needed some putty filler in here, some silicone filler, which was part of my plan for the day as well as getting the light up and styling the area. My sweet little bird always wanted to get in the camera. All right, so right before we got ready for things, as always, your girl is fueling up, chugging down the last bit of my iced coffee for the day before we get to work on this. And yay, my favorite, <laughs> more measurements. So we really just wanted to find the center of each part where we wanted to put the hooks so that they would make sense together. They'd all be level. So we marked the center of each spot and then the center of each board. And then we had our perfect placement for where the hooks were gonna go. Again, teamwork makes the dream work. I held the hooks in place while Nate um, got them ready to go up. And yeah, I really love how beautiful these look on the wall. I couldn't decide exactly how or where to put these hooks that I wanted to put on the second tier, but we made a final decision. We made a good call. I liked it in the end, <laughs> so we're good to go. Once that was done, I took some cleaning wipes. So if you guys do any painting or have any pencil marks on your walls, cleaning wipes or baby wipes do an awesome trick. So I was going to fill that gap in the corner and realized that the caulking gun was broken. So that will have to wait for another day. Nate was down in the basement trying to find the switch to turn off the electrical for that light. And I got to work taking off a little bit of paint around the door frame while he was at it. Bye bye, ugly builder grade light. Oh my God, these lights are all over our house. I despise them. We're slowly removing them project by project, but sweet God, is it nice to get rid of another one. <laughs> so Nate was opening up our new light. Now I can't lie to you guys, this light was a nightmare to put up. When I tell you it probably took us two hours, I'm not joking. We are not new to putting up lights, but it was a nightmare. So I cut out all of that because no one needs to see that, but it looked beautiful in the end. I popped up just to wipe off any finger marks or scrapes that were on the ceiling. 
and then it was time to style the space, which is my favorite part. I like to style things pretty to take pictures for Instagram, of course, and be sure to take a peek at our Instagram at Hungry Heart Home over the weekend to see fully styled pics of this space. There will be a couple little touches that aren't in this video, and I'm super excited for what they're gonna add to this space. But I can't lie to you guys, a space just really comes together when it gets styled, and I'm loving the way that this turned out. It is so beautiful. All right, guys, here is the finished project. I love so much how well it all goes with the tiled floors that we have. That light made such a huge difference. The black door, the board and batten on the walls, these beautiful hooks. I am really just loving how this came together and I can't wait for you guys to see the extra little touch that we've added over the weekend after we finished filming this, but it all just came together so beautifully. I hope you guys enjoyed watching and I hope you got some inspo to do a fun little DIY project yourself at your own homes. This project cost us less than $300, but made such a huge change. All right, guys, thanks so much for watching. Check back next week for another fun DIY project. Love y'all.